Hi guys, Knife Detector, and I've got a very important question for you. Do you have a knife that is going to grow old along with you? Do you have a knife that you are going to grow old with? A knife that is going to show at the end of your journey together that it also has scars, that uh, its knees no longer have the same snap that they used to, just like your knees when you're up there in your years may not have the same snap as they used to. Um, do you have a knife, if you're already my age or a little older, that you've been carrying for years and has a little bit of your blood, a little bit of your sweat and tears in it too, and has shared so many memories with you that it's actually become an article that is very close to you that may even be part of you. And what I mean by part of you is that when people see you with it, they understand. If they see it on the table, they know that's dad's knife. Or they know, hey, uh, that's his uh, Shap Morgan that he likes. Or, or hey, that's his buck knife that he likes. Or, or that's his Camillus that he really likes. You know, Is there a knife that you have that you've held in your hand so many times that it's just become synonymous with you? And a knife that one day your loved one will say, that was my dad's knife, or that was my mom's knife, or that knife belonged to my grandfather, then my dad, and now it's mine. See, I ask you this question because with this awesome hobby that we have of knife collecting, a lot of times we have so many knives that we acquire, but how much time do we really get to spend with one, right? Well, this is one that I intend to spend a lot of time with because I really enjoy this knife and I love this knife. This is, a, of course, my Shat Morgan Wildcat Driller, right? And I have another video on this. And in that video, I said that I was going to do a one-month follow-up. And I was going to do a six-month follow-up and a one-year follow-up to show you the use that this knife has. And I want to show you how we're growing old together and how this knife is getting used by me, right? So this knife, I found out is actually carbon steel because what I didn't notice was that somewhere down here in the tang, it's kind of hidden when you open it, uh, it does say carbon. So it has been getting a patina. And I'm gonna show you that patina right now. You saw a little bit of it in the pictures ahead. Now this is a knife that's been used. A lot of times we see knives like these in, in our videos and, and I'm guilty of making it too, or not even guilty, just, just uh, you make these videos because you love the craftsmanship, you love the beauty, you love the artwork, you love the aesthetics of a knife, right? And uh, a lot of times, you know, we don't use them and we fail to comprehend that when something lives, when uh, like a human being is alive on this earth, it develops scars and those scars are a part of its character. Those scars tell a story. And a lot of times when I show you a used knife that I bought on eBay or a flea market, I talk about the possible life that life may have had. Or I show you how somebody may have used it as a hammer. Or I show you how somebody may have done a repair on it, right? Or sometimes I do my own repair on a knife just to add to the knife story and put a little bit of myself in it. So this is a knife that I'm choosing to become part of my story. And I'm going to do an open tag to you guys too. Anybody who wants to chime in, uh, show me the knife that is part of your story. It doesn't have to be an expensive knife. It doesn't have to be a knife that that uh, is a showstopper. Uh, show me the knife that's been part of your story for the longest amount of time. Now, this isn't the knife that I've been carrying for the longest amount of time, but this is one that I am going to carry as often as I can and for as long as I can. Now, I actually uh, made the first video on this knife. I'd already been carrying it for a while, probably like a week, week and a half. So it's been about a month since I bought this knife. Um, and it hasn't been a month since I made the last video, but it's got about a month's worth of wear. So I've been using this knife for food prep, uh, opening boxes, letters, some rope, uh, basic tasks, you know. I'm going to take care of this knife too. I'm not going to just drop it on the ground or bury it for a week. I'm not going to do anything like that. But it has experienced some changes in just one month's time, and I'd like to go over those changes with you. Let's start on the outside. Of course, we do have some, some light, light scratches, nothing major, right? And that's just from pocket carry. The shield also has a few light scratches in it that were not there before. And uh, check this out. 
The spring is also carbon steel. The spring is starting to develop a light patina in there. And that patina might be from me carrying it in my pocket, uh, the sweat, uh, when I have it, I'm working outside. Or it might be uh, from me using it uh, to cut different things, uh, tomatoes, onions, uh, fruit, anything that I might be eating at the time, steak, and any juices that might slip in there, right? I've noticed, and I don't know if it's my imagination, but the bolsters look a little darker too. They don't look as bright as they used to. And I love that about this knife, that it's just aging so wonderfully, right? Let's take a look at the main blade. As you can see, the main blade is developing a natural patina. And that's not a patina that I myself have done with apple cider vinegar. I've done that with other knives, um, but not this one. Uh, this is just a natural patina from me using it. Notice how some of the stains are much deeper over here. This one has an interesting reddish color to it. It looks almost rusty. I've tried to wipe that off. Now, whenever I, I use this knife, all I've done to clean this is just a little bit of soapy water, and that's it. And then I wipe it down. Um, you cannot see as clear as you used to where it says Chat Morgan 1 of 30. Uh, that patina is kind of making that, that very difficult to see. And this is the other side. There it says Queen DFC. And where was it? Somewhere in here. I don't know if it was here. Yeah, I think somewhere in here I noticed that if you bend it, you can kind of see it where it says carbon. Now, carbon steel is going to tarnish. Carbon steel is going to get a carbon buildup on it. It's going to start to get dark, just like your old hickory knives. You know, that's what's going to happen to carbon steel. It happens naturally. It's going to happen anyway. Um, now, you can clean it very, very often if you choose to, or you can just let the knife age naturally and mature along with you naturally, which is what I intend to do with this one. Um, just a gorgeous, gorgeous knife and blade. I know that those blades are going to get darker. I know that uh, maybe this will get darker and this will get darker. And uh, I plan on showing it to you again in another five months. Oh, another two months, and then another five months, and then possibly a year, God willing, if I'm still here. But I wanted to share this with you, because we don't get to see these knives in that condition very often, I don't think. Um, usually we see pretty ones. And let's face it, that's what people want to see on YouTube. They want to see pretty ones. Um, but guess what? You know, uh, much like people, you know, knives and people both have defects and shortcomings. You know, nobody's perfect. I mentioned earlier, my knees don't snap like they used to. I used to have a little bit more hair. And, uh, you know, there are things that, that change as we get older for people and also for our knives. So this is the knife that I'm going to grow old with. And I'm going to start that process because I'm just enamored with it. Now, show me your knife. Your knife that's a part of your life. Your knife that you have grown old with or your knife that you intend to carry most often and look back on in 30 years or so and say we had a good life together we had a good run and then pass it down to someone you love this has been the knife detector i hope you guys are doing well i wish you many many blessings uh take care my friends keep your knives sharp keep your wits even sharper